today. This is the last time that any of us will be able to call him Rodney after the day. Uh, we'll refer to him as Dr. Cutter. On a serious note, Rodney's put a lot of work in. He's worked hard. Uh, he's one of our leaders in the city, one of our leaders in the community. He's done a fine job working on his education and developing a great ministry. So today is an incredible honor to actually, uh, you know, elevate him and give this award and make sure that everybody knows that the work that he's done. So we're really, really excited about honoring Dr. Cutter. Well, bless you there, Dr. Rose. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that was very well said. Yes, sir. And I'll pay you later. <laughs>
Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. And have on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Praying always, and with all prayer and supplication, in the Spirit. And watching thereto, with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. The Word of the Lord. That God only comes from you. For your Word says that your people could be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So we thank the man of God. We thank this awesome bishop for hearing God's word for a time such as this. And Lord, now that your people have gathered much into their bonds, their storehouse, Lord, let it be dispensed for a time such as this. <laughs> Amen. In other words, what he's saying is this. 
You don't have to play with the Bible. Just, just preach it as it is to people as they are and it will do its work. To handle rightly God's Word means that, number one, I'm to teach the whole counsel of God. Some preachers have forgotten there's an Old Testament. And I love it when a prophecy teacher sets out to teach prophecy from the book of the Revelation. And the problem is he doesn't realize that there are 65 books that went before it. And that's why we've got some of the strangest teachings today. Because God, if He has called you to ministry, He has called you to the greatest vocation that anyone could ever be called to. Anything less, you're stepping down. Not stepping up. With our heads bowed, our eyes closed. Father God in heaven, we love you today. We thank you, Father God, that in your infinite wisdom, you saw fit to communicate to mankind and put that communication in a book called the Bible. Who will receive doctorates today? David Lockwood. I'm sorry. Doctor of Humane Letters. Rodney Cutter, Doctor of Divinity.
Institute Certificate. Latoya Woodard Foundational Church 